So I keep on hearing voices, telepathic voices from a spirit uh, that's called Dimitri Chernobyl. And he keeps on doing telepathy to me. Um, then he, he's trying to make me not record it because he says people will just say I'm crazy. And uh, I just will get a pill from some evil doctor or something. Uh, but I don't believe so whatsoever. I don't believe that's what's going to happen. So now he's angry that I'm studying how uh, microphones that can record his telepathy. So I'm really, really doing a big effort to figure out what microphones can record uh, his uh, telepathic voice. And apparently there's something called parabolic voice uh, recorder where the microphone is inside a tube to uh, that can do the trick. Uh, then I thought of put of making a hole in the parable and putting the tube on the other side of the parable so it looks like the eardrum. Uh, uh, looks like the ear and the inside of the ear. Maybe it works better. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it work. Maybe the parabolic is a uh, tube where it's in front of the ear is more effective. I don't know. That's what I thought of. So now there's a vo telepathic voice that said cool. It's him that said cool. It's not him that said cool. But no, it's me, God, it says. It's telepathic voices. Cool telepathic voices. I don't know if this microphone can record it. I don't think it can record it. So now he's doing picture telepathy that I look like a pig yeah, because of the angle of the camera. So you can see my nose. Then I just totally angus in his mind. And I'm just a pig because my nose looks a bit like a pig because you see it from this angle. And then he's saying my ears hang a bit. So, so you think it looks a lot like a pig. That's what he's trying to do to make me stop recording. So he's doing picture telepathy, which I don't know how to record. But I would really like to know how to record picture telepathy. That comes into my brain that everybody has experienced picture telepathy or having everybody have experienced having a dream it would be really amazing that we could figure out what crystal can really record picture telepathy and dreams in people's minds i said cool i don't know if it's the voice that says he's god or if it's really the matrix you know but that's cool but it sounds a bit like a mongo he does a voiceover. He does this voice filter on people. Uh, when people want to talk telepathically, then he makes, then he changes their voice, uh, so they sound like himself, or, if they, or that they sound mean and evil. And he keeps on changing. And then sometimes he goes in and then starts to narrate them, and goes in and takes over the voice and says something that in so that sounds really evil. Where his goal is for the person to do suicide. It's not only with me he's been doing. He also did it with his psychiatrist. So now it's really quiet, but I only wanted to pick you telepathy. He says he's sorry for doing a voiceover, but it seems like he doesn't need any more. So now I said cool again. He really says cool a lot with the Mongol voice. It sounds like a really mongo, like a little child mongo. It's cool. And they, they make that sound. Mm. And I'm not trying to be evil towards mongos, right? But it's just because he's really evil. So, it's, so it sounds evil when he does it, but then he makes the sound mm, like mongos does, right? But then he's he's taught himself to say cool instead. So every time he's going to say, mm, every time he's want to say that mongo sound, a Down syndrome sound, then he goes, cool, cool. Then he has taught himself so people can never hear his mongol sound. Then he goes back and changes his sound and his voice uh, once again. Homie, I give like you up to, he says in Danish. Homie, I don't want to be recorded. Where he changes his voice a bit to make it sound more mature, but it's very 
clear that, that he is mature as well. No? He's extremely primitive and immature. And then he's just taught himself to change his voice so it sounds like he's mature. And he's pretty confusing. I get confused by what he does. Cool, he said. Cool. Now he actually made that Mongol song when he said, mm. No, I don't like being recorded, he says. No, I don't like being recorded. And he's trying to pretend he's myself and that it's what I'm saying that I don't like being recorded when I'm recording myself. Cool. Yeah, then he says, cool. He says this all the time. All of a sudden, he starts saying to me, cool down, cool down, cool down. Then he keeps on saying, then he thinks I'm going to do suicide. From him. I'm not going to do suicide. From him. He did it for more than an hour where he just kept on saying, cool down, cool down. Now he's now some other boy said, "Homie, you're sick up in the head for trying to make my father to do suicide." Then he did a voiceover on it where he makes the the person sound. I couldn't hear, I couldn't even hear if it was a man or a woman who was talking. It's apparently one of my children, uh, somebody who's saying they're my children, and then he's doing a, the, the voice different, making the voice sound different, so it sounds like himself. So the voice sounds like this Mongol voice. And then his own voice, he makes really deep. Uh, and then he wants everybody on the world just to experience what it feels like to have a little light Mongol voice that didn't mature properly. So he just does it all the time. And then he's all like, oh, yeah, this is like his attitude. It's not what he says, right? But he's all like, oh, yeah, but now you could feel it on yourself, what it feels like having that little Mongol voice, right? And most people aren't evil about his little light mango voice. And most people think it sounds uh, cute. And uh, when he is cute, do you know what I mean? But then he's really evil and mean. So then people think he's, not, he's just evil and mean. But his voice in itself, the, uh, people didn't really make that much fun of it. Do you know what I mean? But for some reason, he's just deeply insulted that he got that voice and just want everybody to experience having that voice. So everybody that speaks telepathic to me, just he just changes the voice. I don't know how he taught himself to do that. I don't know how you would think of it even. Right? It's just very stupid. I find it to be very primitive and stupid, but very advanced too that he can figure out how to do it with his brain or his mind. But the goal of it and the intention of it is evil and primitive and stupid. Of what he's doing, of what the Matrix Chernobyl from 1987, one year after Chernobyl accident is doing. Cool, he said once again. He says, cool. Then you think people can hear he get he got that mongo voice. Down to the voice. Feet knock. So I have little again we can hear my son. Hey may I could get old enough. He says, fine. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I don't want to live any longer. And then he changes his voice to make it sound a bit more rough. And mature, he thinks in his own mind. Cool. Yeah, then he goes, cool, once again. So this is how it is with Mongols. This is apparently a clever one talking to me to the particular. So this is how it is with Mongols. Uh, this is how they behave, I thought, was, or something like that, she's communicating. And then he does uh, the <clears throat> voiceover. I don't mind being recorded, she says, but he, the Mongo, makes a voiceover of her. She doesn't like this, she's communicating to me. Mate, he's pretty good at explaining it, he says, telepathically. 
de trabalho de sustentabilidade. Então, do seu usado de trabalho de sustentabilidade. do seu usado. Cool. It's not me the club on San Cool. It's really him, it's really him that said once again, Cool. So I don't know if you can hear it with this microphone, but I'm gonna try and find a better microphone. Because the only thing you can hear is telepathic voices with the microphone. But I really heard another one record the telepathic voices with a phone microphone. Uh, but I don't think you can hear them with this microphone, so I really think I need a parabola or a tube microphone or a combination of the two. Uh, <clears throat> or even more advanced microphone that uses a crystal or something that can capture sounds. A quartz crystal or something that's really electric. It's possible to record the sounds. If my brain and my ears can hear it, it's possible to replicate it so it can be heard. The telepathic voices, that's what I'm 100% sure of. That's what he... Uh, uh, doesn't believe whatsoever. So thank you for listening. Uh, nobody do suicide from the telepathic voice of uh, this, of the mean evil ghost of uh, <clears throat> uh, Dimitri Chernobyl. Uh, try and record and write down everything that you experience and meditate and do urine therapy and keep on eating healthy. Don't eat any meat. Meditate. Uh, record with a phone, uh, with a scripture, by writing down all the time, uh, put it up in public if you want to, and uh, if you put it up in public, he'll react to it, and he'll, he will stop doing it, and think more about what you have recorded, and look at that instead of talking to you, he's been attacking more, more people than myself, I know he attacked a psychiatrist, a lot I've been told telepathically, so don't do suicide from him, we will find a solution, I'll keep on uh, looking. <clears throat> I believe there will be more evil spirits and ghosts doing telepathy, trying to make people do suicide on this planet. So uh, I will keep on trying to find the solution. And so far, it's meditation, urine therapy, and uh, recording it all. And I made a very, very uh, big playlist, more than 500 videos now uh, about this subject, uh, where people can learn about the spirit of Dimitri Chernobyl. Uh, who's trying to make everybody do suicide. So don't do suicide. Uh, keep on living. People are telepathic. People can hear each other's telepathic verses. There's lots of documentaries about telepathy. So don't do suicide from it. <clears throat> and there's been accidents from it, from him and his picture telepathy. And I really want to record his picture telepathy. And I really want to record his sound telepathy. Uh, so and his um, emotional telepathy too, where he tries to control the emotions, which I can only explain with words right now. But I truly believe it's possible to make these kind of recording devices. Uh, and maybe it takes crystals. Maybe it's a bit like how they invented the X-ray. Uh, maybe it takes a crystal and a parabola, and then it's fully possible to record it. I believe it's fully possible to record it. Maybe it takes silver crystal. Maybe it takes quartz crystal. Maybe it takes another crystal. It's fully possible. We can do it. We will survive it. It's all good. There will be more the next a thousand years. We are more than nine billion people on this planet. Nine billion spirits, and we will fall. There will always be good and bad on this planet. And um, so, do everything you can. Study how to strengthen your immune system. Don't eat meat. Um, do urine therapy. Do urine bath uh, every day. Uh, every time I do a urine bath, he doesn't want to go near my body. Uh, so, uh, and I, I put urine in my mouth for one hour every day when I meditate. And you can see my teeth are strong and good and healthy. I'm feeling good, strong and healthy. It's all good. <clears throat>